This year at Crestwood, we introduced a new house system for all of our students. Our houses were Brindle, Genesee, and Zion. And before school started, you had no idea what you were going to be and what shirt and what house you would represent all year. On House Reveal Day, a third of you were chosen to represent House Brindle. These chosen students would represent the creativity and innovation and beautiful thinking that we want to see in every Crestwood Cougar. And oh, what a year you have had, Brindle. And we have loved watching you shine. Today, we celebrate House Brindle. But let's talk about creativity and innovation just for a minute. Because remember, we are all a part of every house and we want to see all of our character traits in each and every student. Hey guys, I'm just playing around with some Snapchat filters. I'm being creative, trying out some new things. What do you think about this one? Or this one? That's pretty cool. I like the glasses. How about this one? Dig in the ears? I like them. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. I'm not really feeling myself. But I think I'll stick with this one for now. It's kind of summery and I'm feeling this vibe. Today we are celebrating House Brindle because they are creative and we love them so much. So let's learn just a little bit more about creativity. What do you like to do that's super creative? I play the piano. Sometimes they play other things because they have a keyboard. In my dream, I make believe that I could be a unicorn. Are you ready, Goldie? Nay! I want to be a artist. Do you like to paint? Yeah. What do you like to paint? Castles and princesses and cats and dogs and people. It's an original designed by moi. I'm a pretty good maker and not a good artist. I like to make gadgets, gizmos, pretend rocket ships. Introducing my robot. It's always my wish to be an artist. I must. Paint! But I'm still a kid, so I have to grow up to be artist. How do you like to express your creativity? Creativity is an amazing trait that we all have. Even though we celebrate it with Brindle, we all have it. So let's learn a little bit more about creativity. A lot of people tend to think that creativity is binary. Either you have it or you don't. But in reality, we do all have it. It's just a matter of how you interpret it. You know, some people think, I'm not an artist, so I don't use creativity at work. You're probably using creativity to make decisions and solve problems on a daily basis. Creativity is both a skill and a process. It's something you can learn. And like any other skill, it's something you can get better at through practice and repeated use. Now, you might think, well, I don't have time to sit down and create something every day. This is where it's important to realize the difference between using creativity and actually creating something. You know, in a lot of ways, creativity is all about how you see things. 
So yeah, you can use it to create poems or paintings, but you can also use it in practical ways, like coming up with an alternate solution for a work project or organizing things in your home. So the next time you think, I'm not creative, or I'm not as creative as some other people, take a step back and really take a look at what it is you do on a day-to-day -day basis. You might be surprised at how often you're using creativity. Now, House Brindle, you have shown so many elements of creativity this year, and we celebrate that. But we all can be creative, all of us. So House Brindle, we celebrate you and your creativity today. We love that about you. Later today, if you are in House Brindle, you will come to the lobby when you hear the announcement, and the rest of you will line the hallways and cheer for them as they walk the school. So in honor of House Brindle, I'm gonna stick right here with these lightning earrings. Ah, ah, ki-chow, ah, ah, ki-chow. I'll see you at the parade.